Hi beautiful people, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you the 11 top tourist spots here in the Philippines. The Philippines is the most beautiful place according to travelers who visited all 81 provinces. So here I'm gonna share to you the Philippines 11 best spots for first timers if ever you plan to visit Philippines in the future. The beautiful country is located at the very eastern edge of Asia. The Philippines are home to more than 7,000 islands, which are inhabited by friendly locals and many indigenous tribes. From pristine beaches and marvelous natural wonders to interesting historic sites and once-in-a-lifetime experiences, the Philippines packed many exciting things to see and do. Check out the following top tourist attraction in the Philippines. The number one tourist spot in popular here in the Philippines is Barakay. Barakay may be a small island but it packs great features such as award-winning beaches, beautiful resorts, and great adventures like leaf diving, parasailing, motorbiking, horse riding, snorkeling, kite surfing, and scuba diving. If that is not enough, boat tours allows visitors to watch stunning sunsets, explore the volcanic caves and remote coves of turquoise lagoons. When the sun sets, Barakay nightlife pulsates with many bars and restaurants, serving food, drinks, and fun until dawn. Top tourist parts here in the Philippines is Underground River. It is located in the northern coast of the island of Palawan. Puerto Princesa is a nature lover's paradise. Home it to unspoiled landscape rich in wildlife. This lovely town also lays claim to one of the world's most unique natural phenomena. An underground river known as the Puerto Princesa Subterranean River. Protected within the national park, this national wonder is the world's longest navigable underground river. Guided paddle boat tours shows intriguing rocks formations and flattering banks. The third tourist part here is Malapasqua. It is a small island made up of kite fishing villages. Malapasqua Island is popular for its ideal diving spots in for being the only place in the world to see thresher sharks on a regular basis as well as mantra wraiths and hammerheads. The other hidden gems here are the beautiful sandy white beaches, crystal clear waters bordered by covenant trees and colorful co coral gardens. Top source parts is Puerto Galera. It is just south of Manila. It's a charming coastal town of Puerto Galera. Well favored for its gorgeous beaches, excellent diving spots, and wide diversity of marine species. 
the most popular beaches are White Beach and Sabang Beach, which also offer nearby shopping, dining nightlife, and hotel accommodation. Another popular attraction is na the natural harbor of Mual Bay, with its rows of shops, restaurants, and bars. Visitors can also go snorkeling to see some of Asia's best coral reefs or dive among old shipwrecks and also the hundreds of fish species. The fifth tourist spot that stands out for me is Dunsol Sorsigan. This place is located in the province of Sorsigan, a place of pristine beaches, stunning waterfalls, and unexplored caves. The sleepy fishing village of Dunsol is a place in the Philippines to see the whale sharks and also the ocean's gentle giants can be seen between November and June. With the numbers peaking between February and May, tourists can also take a boat cruise along the Donsa River through mangrove and palm trees and watch the night light up with millions of sparkly fireflies. If that's not enough, a traditional shrimp catching expedition with bamboos and nets followed by a tasty dinner of the cooked catch is also available. Manawi Rice Terraces at number 6 No trip to the Philippines could be complete without seeing the spectacular Banawi Rice Terraces carved from the mountain ranges about 2,000 years ago without modern tools by the Ifugao tribes. These magnificent farm terraces resemble giant steps reaching up to the sky. Locals to this day still plant rice and vegetable on the terraces. Although more and more younger Ifugas do not find farming appealing and immigrate to the cities. And number 7, Tubataha Ribs. The Tubataha Reef is the Sulu Sea and the marine sanctuary protected by the Tibeta Reef National Marine Park. The reef is made up of two tolls, North Atoll and South Atoll, separated by a deep channel of approximately 5 miles or 8 kilometers wide. It has become one of the most popular dive cities or sites in the Philippines because of its coral walls, where the shallow coral reef abruptly ends, giving way to great depths. The marine park is open to live road or diving excursions between the month of April to June when the waves are most calm. At number 8, most popular tourist spots here in the Philippines is Mayon Volcano. The Mayan volcano rising more than 8,000 feet or 2,400 meters. It's above sea level. Mayan volcano is significant for its perfectly symmetrical cone shape. Visitors can enjoy a number of activities here such as camping, climbing, hiking, hiking bird watching, and photography. A picture ski spot in which to admire Mayan volcano is from the nearby Kugsagwa ruins. Mayon is the most active volcano in the Philippines. Having erupted over 49 times in the past 400 years, this is the most destructive eruption of Mayon occurred on a last February 1, way back February 1, 1814, bombarding the nearby towns with volcanic rocks and Bill Fry in what is left to the Baroque chart that was destroyed by the 1814 eruption can still be seen. A 
But number 9 tourist parts is the most beautiful in Palawan, El Nido. One of the main reasons why people visit El Nido is Palawan is to visit the beautiful beaches and picturesque lagoons. The only way these places are seen is through islands hopping and tours. At number 10 tourist parts in the Philippines is called San Agustin Church. Yes, it is a church. It's located in Manila. A visit to the San Agustin Church is a must-see. It's built in in 1589. This beautiful church has survived seven earthquakes and two fires. That's over the centuries and now remains as the oldest stone church in the Philippines. At the main entrance, there are exquisite carvings and wooden doors. Inside the lovely Mexican-influenced interior is designed in the shape of the Lion Cross. This gorgeous ceiling was painted in the 1800s by Italian artist named Giovanni Di Bella and Cesar Alberani. The last top two spots that's included in my list is Chocolate Hills. The Chocolate Hills, one of the top tourist attractions in the Philippines. These are unusual geological formations that consist of at least 1,268 individ individual months scattered throughout the interior of the island of Bohol. The most symmetrical and same sites formation range from 98 to 164 feet or 30 to 50 meters high and are covered in green grass. During the dry season, the grass turns brow, brown, hence the name. There is no consensus on how these giant mole hills were formed. One theory holds that the chocolate hills are the weathered rock formation of a kind of a mare marine limestone or top of the impermeable layer of clay. Philippines is a beautiful country that has beautiful tourist spots and also beautiful people living in there. If you learned something from this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, share for more health and beauty tips. And don't forget to subscribe.